Hey Divas! Welcome to Deal Loving Diva. My name is Vanessa and I'm here with you today to do a real quick Couponing 101 tutorial. Every time you see the words Couponing 101 in the title of one of my videos, you can expect a lesson or a tutorial about coupons. Okay, so to in today's lesson we are going to discuss the difference between a transaction and a purchase. Alright, number one, I think it needs to be covered because I know that there are some of you who don't know what this means um, and you've asked me before so I know that there are a few of you out there who still don't know what this means and that's fine because you know what you're never going to know until you ask but for the rest of you this is just a video on the difference between a purchase and a transaction which a lot of you do already know okay so without further ado let's say I'm going to to Bubba's grocery store all right there is no such thing in my area as a Bubba's grocery store but we're gonna make that up all right I'm gonna go to Bubba's grocery store and here's my checkout scenario okay I got a box of gain I've got a Oral-B battery-powered toothbrush and I've got two Garniers I've got a shampoo and conditioner yippee skippy all right everything's going good I'm bleep, I'm checking out my items bleep, and then I go and I hand them, I start handing them my coupons. Okay, I start handing, um, what is it, what is her name back there? Gertrude behind the counter. I'm handing her my, my coupons, okay? Gertrude takes a moment to look them over because she's seen the show and everything. And she says, well, Bubba's is not going to get messed over by no couponers. I'm going to read this coupon. So I said, okay, Gertrude, go ahead. She starts a read and she says, okay, okay, all right, okay. And then she gets to this part and she says, this coupon is only good on purchase of product indicated. The, uh, uh, any other use constitutes fraud. Limit one coupon per purchase. Then Gertrude tells me, well, you can't use two coupons on these two here shampoo and conditioners. That's not going to work. That daggone coupon says one per purchase. And here's the part where Deal Loving Diva gets a little bit unloving and says, Gertrude, let me tell you the difference between a purchase and a transaction. Okay, so here's the difference. All right, even though, yes, the coupon does say limit one per purchase, limit one coupon per purchase, a purchase is simply an item within my transaction. As couponers, these are the coupons we love because there really is no limit. They should switch the word purchase with item because that's what it really is, okay? So this L'Oreal, the manufacturer of Garnier, is not imposing a limit on how many of these I can buy within a transaction, okay? So I could buy as many of these Garnier Fructises in L'Oreal's eyes as I want to, as long as I'm making sure I just have one coupon per item, okay? A purchase is simply an item within a transaction. The toothbrush is a purchase and the laundry detergent is a purchase. So then I tell Gertrude to go ahead and visit the Coupon Information Corporation and see it in black and white for herself. Then I kindly would hand her Bubba's Grocery Store coupon policy and learn her on her own policy. Gertrude says, okay. So she goes ahead and she rings up my Garniers. All right, then she'll get to the toothbrush and she'll look it over and she'll say, all right, $3 off, one battery-powered toothbrush. That there toothbrush looks like it's got a spot for a battery. Okay. All right, then she'll start reading the fine print. It'll say, limit one coupon per purchase of products and quantities stated limit four like coupons in the same shopping trip okay let me explain what that means limit four like coupons in the same shopping trip shopping trip is a fancy word for transaction okay so Procter & Gamble the maker of this is imposing a four like coupon limit on this type of coupon only they're not telling me I can't come in with more than four coupons at all okay that is a widely misconcepted people get that mixed up all the time you guys 
you can have as many items with coupons as you'd like as long as you don't have more than four of these particular battery powered toothbrush coupons okay that's what that means within a transaction okay so we know that I've only got one of these here toothbrushes so that's gonna work out for me alright now just because this Procter & Gamble says that I can't have more than four like coupons per transaction can I still buy four of these and then buy four of the gain which is also a Procter & Gamble yes yes I can as long as I'm not buying four more of the Oral-B I sure can I can have four of as many different Procter & Gamble products as I would like as long as I'm not going over four like items with the like coupons so then we're going over to the gain two dollars off one tighter gain powder de powder detergent well that's what that is okay and then we're gonna look and we're gonna say okay well this is a Procter & Gamble so it's gonna say limit of one coupon per purchase okay so we know that's my purchase it's my one item I can't stack six of these on one box again and it says limit of four coupons in the same same shopping trip okay so that's just basically what that is so Gertrude should have no problems ringing up my coupons at all no questions asked and it should be a happy day okay that's how it should work out so in all reality I wouldn't do this but if I wanted to I could have four of these in this transaction I could have four of these I could have 20 of these with my coupons just as long as there's not a limit on Bubba's end of it okay if Bubba's grocery store tells me I can't buy more than five of the same thing that's what we got to go by is that store policy at Bubba's okay but in all general reality from the coupon the CIC okay this is the standard definition of a purchase in a transaction I hope that cleared up some questions for you guys and I will talk to you soon let me know if you have any questions, don't be embarrassed to ask. This is how we learn. Happy couponing. Bye.